It took the UFC a long time to start a women's division. It wasn't until 2012, 15 years after the men's heavyweight title was introduced, that the company's leaders gave in to Ronda Rousey's popularity and made a bantamweight division for women. Now the UFC can boast over 100 fighters on the roster. Now in this video, we're going to talk about the 10 most important women's fights in UFC history. First off at number 10. We have Ronda Rousey versus Liz Carmouche, UFC 157. Ronda Rousey is without a doubt the most important female MMA fighter ever. Her success in Strike Force led the UFC to start a women's division in 2013. Rousey was already given the UFC bantamweight title. She fought Liz Carmouche in the main event of UFC 157 to defend her title, and this became the first ever UFC women's fight. Even though Ronda had some trouble early on, she got her signature arm bar move on her opponent late in the first round and won by submission. This was a great start for women's MMA in the UFC. Rousey would go on to skillfully protect her title five more times, with only one match lasting longer than 60 seconds. At number 9, we have Chris Cyborg versus Holly Holm, UFC 219 2017. Few MMA fighters have been as dominant and avoided as Chris Cyborg Justino, who's the queen of the featherweight division. One of her goals was to face off against Rousey, but that took some time. By the time Cyborg eventually made her long-awaited UFC debut at UFC 198 in 2016, Rousey had already been bested and seemed to have disappeared from the public eye. Cyborg had to carry on with her own business, though. Cyborg's body was so worn out after she joined the UFC and fought in two catchweight fights at 140 pounds that she needed a certain amount of time to recover. But the UFC didn't want to wait for her to start their featherweight division. So they made Jermaine Durandamy fight former UFC bantamweight champion Holly Holm in the first 145-pound title fight. As the fight went on, Cyborg kept showing that she was more than just a berserker. She kept timing and countering Holm's distance combinations. And by the end of the fight, she had hit Holm almost 100 times more than she had. This fight was a big step forward for Cyborg because it showed that she could really compete with the best fighters. At number 8, we have Zhang Weili versus Joanna Janjacek. UFC 248. Zhang Weili and Joanna Janjacek had the best fight in the history of women's mixed martial arts at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. When it was over, the result of the UFC 248 co-main event almost didn't matter because of how great the fight was, but Zhang kept her UFC strawweight title for the first time with a five-round split decision in a fight that made both women and the sport look better. In round four, the high-level action kept going, and neither fighter backed down. Instead, they took turns rocking each other. Even though this was Zhang's first time in the championship rounds, she was still swinging for the fences. But it was clear that Yan Jacek was the fresher of the two. With only two minutes left, Zhang hit Yan Jacek hard in the head. But Yan Jacek kept moving forward and hit Zhang with an elbow before the two of them got stuck against the fence. In the last 30 seconds, Jan Jacek looked at the clock, but that didn't stop her from giving it her all. Next up at number 7, we have Amanda Nunes versus Juliana Pena. UFC 269. By the end of 2021, most people agreed that Amanda Nunes was the best woman fighter in UFC history. So when Juliana Pena was chosen as the next challenger for the bantamweight title, even though she had a 2-2 record in her last four fights, critics thought she was just another sacrificial lamb for Nunes. At UFC 268, the first round of the fight went as expected, with Nunes being beating Pena. In the second round, however, Pena surprised Nunez by landing 74 
significant blows. In one of the biggest upsets in recent MMA history, a champion who had been knocked down tried to fight back, but was knocked down after three minutes and submitted with a rear naked choke. At number six, we have Joanna Janjacek versus Rose Nama Yunes, UFC 217. In 2017, Joanna Janjacek had a perfect 14 0 record as the strawweight champion. She was only one win away from matching Ronda Rousey's record of six title defenses. At UFC 2017, she faced the small Rose Nama Yunes, who caused a stir at the weigh ins by saying, the Lord's Prayer while Joanna talked trash. This was an early sign that she would be different from any other opponent Boogie Woman had faced before. Rose would show how good she was by knocking the champion down in the first three minutes of their fight. Thug Rose continued to hit Joanna, and Joanna gave up her title by tapping out in the first round. This was quite a shocking way for Joanna to lose her title. At number five, we have Amanda Nunes versus Valentina Shevchenko, UFC 215. At UFC 215, Amanda Nunes, the bantamweight champion, beat Valentina Shevchenko in a split decision that was very close. Even though the decision stopped the belt from changing hands five times in 13 months, it did raise questions about Shevchenko's future at bantamweight. Although Valentina was Nunez's biggest rival, she was now 0-2 against the champion and had no chance of getting the title back right away. By accident, the solution started a time when three female weight classes were dominated. Valentina moved down to flyweight and started a reign as champion that has lasted more than 1,200 days and is still going on. Nunez, on the other hand, had to challenge for the featherweight belt and win because she didn't have any real competition. She had a similar run as the bantamweight champion, which just ended after 1981. Moving on at number four, we have Ronda Rousey versus Misha Tate, UFC 168. From 2011 to 2016, the Strike Force and UFC bantamweight title matches featured either or both Misha Tate and Ronda Rousey. Tate's Strike Force title was taken by Rousey in the first round of their Strike Force fight. A year later, at UFC 168, the two fought again for Rousey's UFC title. Tate and Rousey were the first two women to coach on a season of The Ultimate Fighter, which built up interest in their fight. Tate was the first person to make Rousey work hard after the first round when they fought again. Tate finally lost with an armbar in the third round, and Rousey didn't shake her hand after the match to show how angry she was. At number three, we have Zhang Weili versus Rose Namajunas, UFC 261. Rose Namajunas was beating Jessica Andrade for the UFC strawweight title at UFC 237, but then she got hit in the head and lost the belt. Two years later, Thug Rose was back in the championship picture, but had to fight new champion Zhang Weili instead. Weili was thought to be the favorite, but Rose made history when she knocked out the champion with a head kick, 78 seconds into the first round. The referee had to stop the fight because of this. Rose would be the only woman UFC fighter to win back a title she had previously lost. Rose and Wei Li would play each other again six months later, and Rose would win again, proving that she was the best in her division. At number two, we have Amanda Nunes versus Chris Cyborg, UFC 232. At UFC 232, bantamweight champion Amanda Nunes and featherweight champion Chris Cyborg fought for Cyborg's title in the first ever super fight between two women in the UFC. Cyborg was 20 to 1 heading into the match, with her sole defeat occurring way back in 2005, and was believed to have the upper hand over the 16 4 Nunes. 
but the fight was over in 51 seconds because Nunez was so much better than Cyborg. She stunned the featherweight queen early on and then knocked her out with an overhand right. Dana White called Nunez the best ever because of how easily she won. Not that many MMA journalists have disagreed with that claim. Finally, at number one, we have Ronda Rousey versus Holly Holm, UFC 193. Even though Holly Holm was 9-0 in MMA and had a great boxing pedigree, Ronda Rousey, who was 12-0 at the time and UFC bantamweight champion, was supposed to breeze through her at UFC 193. But Holm laughed at her plus 1,200 odds as an underdog by beating Rousey in the first round. She stuck and moved while landing powerful jabs that left Rousey bloodied and tired. Holm gave Rousey a vicious head kick in the second round, which knocked her down. Holm then jumped on her to end the fight and take her title. The fight put an end to Rousey's reign as the best fighter in the UFC women's division. Rousey would take a year off before coming back. When she did, Amanda Nunes would beat her again in a very bad way, and Rousey would retire for good. That's all for this video. Which of these fights did you enjoy the most? Let us know in the comments comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.